Hello there, we've been talking about financial stewardship as a critical aspect of being a godly man. We saw how in Timothy chapter 5 it said that if you don't provide for your own household, you're actually worse than a non-believer. You have denied the faith. And so then we hit upon in Luke's gospel, chapter 19, the parable of the wicked or unjust steward who knew that the, his Lord was an austere or a severe man. And rather than increasing what the Lord had given him, he went and buried it and hid it in fear. And the Lord comes back and judges him and says, why have you been so wasteful? And the servant says, because I knew you were an austere man. And the Lord rebukes him and says, out of your own mouth, I will judge you, you wicked servant, for you knew that I was an austere man. Jesus Christ declares himself here to be an austere servant. And if he is an austere servant to God, being the son of God, he's going to expect us as men following in his footsteps to also be austere and righteous with his finances. An austere person is very strict in their business affairs. They have a budget. They know where their money's coming. They know where their money is going. Austere men, men who provide for their household, they don't waste their money on too much food. They don't waste their money on sin. They don't waste their money on internet. If they can't afford it, they don't waste their money, certainly not on video games. Can you imagine a grown man having children he can't afford to feed, and yet he's always buying PlayStation 4 games or Xbox One games? Can you imagine that a man would actually rob God to play video games? Certainly, hopefully, that's not you. How about this one? If you can't afford to tithe, you can't afford a pet. How about that? How about that for some doctrine? Would you believe that Christians will actually rob God of the tithe, and yet they'll have two and three pets and four pets? I like to make the joke, will a man rob God to feed his dog? The answer is evidently, apparently so, yes. An austere person to serve Jesus Christ and provide for his household, to pay his tithe and be blessed of God, he will get rid of pets if he has to. I remind you that Peter had a vision in Acts chapter 9 or 10, and uh, he saw a, a, a blanket come down from heaven with all manner of four-footed beasts. And Jesus Christ commanded Peter to arise, kill, and eat. All manner of four-footed beasts. That would have been dogs, cats, guinea pigs, Anything, Peter was commanded to kill and eat because all animals are designed for food. It's a shame that here in America, in 2017, we worship animals, we give them the tithe we owe to Jesus Christ. We rob from God to worship a dog. That's not being austere. And if you're doing that, you're not providing for your own household. Make sure you make the adjustments and get your money right with God so you can be a man of God in the financial realm.